All right, so I want to show one of my favorite techniques. I, I'm kind of on the fence about showing some of these techniques because then they're just out there in the world and everybody knows my moves. But it's not like it's not known, but it's just a cool move. It's a knee bar from something called knee shield guard or Z guard. So knee shield is whenever I have my knee in between me and him. And, um, and I'm trying to just kind of keep him at bay with that. Now, there's a way to kind of put my foot inside sometimes, but I'm not talking about that one today. I'm just keeping my foot on the outside. I'll demonstrate the move, which is a knee bar, and then we'll kind of break it down and I'll discuss it a little bit more. This is where I'm going to control his leg right here. I can also hug it or just pull it to me. My feet are crossed around his hip right there, and I extend to make the, uh, the knee have some pain. So my inside leg is trapping his leg. My top leg is just blocking his uh, torso here. So there are a lot of times trying to hug my head and that's going to suck. So I'm going to try to keep that from happening. I'm going to pass that arm over my head and swim through. Now my hand reaches for his leg. My knee comes up and I start fanning him around the corner. My bottom leg that was hooked in starts working for me now and chops up into the hip. And as it knocks him over, my bottom leg now comes out and crosses. From here, I grab his ankle and I start pulling it close to my body as I extend my hips. It gets really tight, really fast. I have my inside leg trapping his leg. I say trapping, it's just draped over the top, so I'm not really putting him in danger yet. And this is here. He typically wants to hug my head. So once he does that, he smashes my legs and passes. So I don't want that to happen. So I keep my arms here to prevent that. Now, as he wants my head, I'm just going to redirect this with this arm and pass my other arm through. Once I get his arm out of the way, I start to fan him that, that direction away from me. And I reach for his knee. As this happens, you'll see that my leg that's hooked onto his leg here down by the calf moves from his calf all the way to his hip. Now as I start to turn over, I cross my feet, I grab the ankle, and I extend my hips forward. <laughs> you scared? Oh, God. <laughs> so, secrets. There is a little secret that goes on. As I'm blocking here, I'm pushing with this arm to push up. I'm not really trying to move it. I'm pushing it up, which actually redirects it. My other arm goes underneath, and then my knee is going to collapse more close to my body. It was away and I'm gonna let it move in. That's really the secret to this thing. So he's pushing on me, I move, I collapse. Now I'm gonna hook his leg. Once I hook his leg, my other leg is gonna chop over his hip and I'm still pushing him this direction where his head's at. So I just turn, chop, my leg comes out and then I connect to his heel here. Now, you can either connect this way, you can connect this way, or you can just bite his toes. Ah, just kidding, I don't think that's legal yet. So. Hugging is fine, or just holding on and then extending. Cool? This is a knee bar from knee shield position, and we find a lot of success with it here. You can also turn all knee bars into other leg stuff. 411, Senkaku, all that crazy stuff. So, be prepared. Um, if you don't know the leg game, then you should probably just quit jujitsu at this point <laughs> because everybody's gonna know here in the next few years. So, anyway, that's my gift from me to you. Now, go, go out there and stop all my moves. Congratulations. Good luck. <laughs>